Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room this morning. It's paper pumpkin time again and um, in my last paper pumpkin video we went over that the box has changed. I love the top of it now. Our address and everything is on the bottom which is very nice um, and I love the polka dots and then well uh, for you all to save and stack your uh, paper pumpkin kits they have put the name of everything and the month and year on the side so this is this month's positively picturesque and oh, let's just go ahead and open it I like to open it with you guys and if you are new to paper pumpkin you would then get a block that says paper pumpkin if, the, if it was your first um, subscription you would get this little block right here and it says paper pumpkin on it and that would come with your very first kit um, if you need any information about uh, paper pumpkin go over to steppinginthevalley.com click on the big blue button and search paper pumpkin uh, it is a great little kit that is just all together the only thing and you even get adhesive with it um, you know unless you want to use snail they usually send glue dots or you know something so let's see what we've got this month oh how nice you're the best hello friend it's your day there's a hooray and a love I love that flower I love the font on the thanks that's nice and you have a, oh, well, there's a lot of flowers here and hearts and a stem and a border. This month we get two stampin' spots, soft sky and tranquil tide. Very nice. Oh, those are nice beachy colors. <laughs> and it always comes nicely packaged in this pretty blue paper. And then it's a kit. Let me move our box out of the way. Oh, how much fun. Oh, here's some. Um, cutouts and washi tape guys so let's just open this together we'll look at it together and then I'll put everything uh, together and we'll I'll put the last one on together with you guys on camera so very nice washi tape and they always give you more than enough to use Let's see, we're getting envelopes, of course. When there's cards, you get the complete kit. So there looks to be, um, oh, nice. Punch-outs and cutouts, Card bases. Let's see what we've got here. Here's some Stampin' Dimensionals, and these are full size. Here's some card bases that look like they're um, like a watercolor wash. That looks like some Lemon Lime Twist. This looks like some soft sky card bases. Everything is in the kit for you guys. Everything. Look at this. These are cute. Let's see what we're going to do with that. And, you know, if you travel and you just, you know, you're stuck in a hotel or something, um, this is great to take with you. Glue dots. So you need nothing. You just have to have fun. And there's some punch outs here. Here's a heart. And it, they look stitched. If you can see that on the camera, the stitching. And this is a circle that's stitched. Okay. So this just looks extremely interesting. So right here is what we're going to put together. Let me get the light out of the glare, the glare of the light out. Here's um, some card right there with uh, wooden elements like that love this oh that looks so pretty behind the heart doesn't it that's how that goes so you get all of the instructions and um of course we all put videos up you could always check out youtube but everything is contained in this and this month if you sign up for paper pumpkin okay so you have all your step-by-step -step instructions Okay, but this month, if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, you will get your five dollar bonus uh, for next month. So this is a great little um, bonus right here. Uh, for fifty dollars, you get a five dollar coupon on your email to use for next month. So that's going on, of course, this month with Stampin' Up. 
I'll be back in just a couple of minutes and we're going to put each and every card together. I just wanted to get back on camera and show you guys what all comes in this kit. When I opened it, you're going to make eight cards with the envelopes. You get all the envelopes. So you have smaller envelopes here, larger ones. Okay, beautiful whisper white envelopes. Of course, you get the two washi tapes. These are embellishments in a card. These right here are for your sentiment. Everything is done for you with Paper Pumpkin. These are backgrounds and already stamped. And you just, um, you know, punch these things out. It's the full kit for, for $20. You really get great bang for your buck. Here's your card bases. I have folded mine now in half. These are some larger cards. There's four of them and then four smaller note cards that come in the kit. Nice. These, uh, then you get your glue dots and your dimensionals. Two spots, Tranquil Tide and Soft Sky. Beautiful stamp set. A fantastic stamp set that you can use many, many, many times over. Now these punch outs came from these and this will be some of our card fronts that we're going to be working with. Okay, and then these are stickers already solid adhesive behind there so that you just stick them on. How much fun is that? And I saved the best for last. I have to open these. I love wood embellishments. These are going to be so cute. There's some mountains. Oh, how cute. I love the way that wood makes such a uh, dimension on a card. Nice. Hooray. Oh, my H broke off. Well, we can fix that. I'll just glue that on. They're delicate. You can't help it. Love. If it really bothered you, you could call Stampin' Up and they would replace the whole kit. I promise you. They're that good. But that doesn't bother me. I'm just going to glue it. Love. And look at our little flowers. Little tulips. Okay. So now, really, back in a minute, and we will be putting cards together. Okay, let's make this first card. We have our little clouds in the background there. That's fun. And our wood element of our mountains. And then these right here made our um, hills and valleys, I guess you should say little washi tape down here a fun card so the base is soft sky you get the two um, ink spots but I have the larger pads so I don't open my ink spots so here we have our card base and I folded it on the crease right there and it'll open like a book we'll move that to the side this little piece right here we want to put our washi tape on the bottom so I just rip off a piece and let some hang over on either side let me move that up so let me get this out of the way how about that <laughs> okay right there then just take your washi tape and washi tape is very forgiving so you can position and reposition it um, it is a great product for embellishments I, I have to admit I don't use it as much as I probably should okay and just fold your ends over on the back and that's done. Now we want to bring our card base in and we're going to do a little stamping right here of our clouds. So we want to look right here at where our mountains are positioned and we want to make sure that we get our clouds close enough together to where they show. Okay, so I'm kind of going to eyeball that just a little bit there. And let me open my soft sky and get my little cloud and I'm just going to kind of hold that down and I'm going to start to stamp where I want the clouds to show okay then I'm going to take this off and just stamp around so that it will be outside of the circle but that just gives you a guide 
and so I just put some clouds all the way around just to um, incorporate the whole circle okay right there aren't they cute little clouds okay <clears throat> Now, I have to admit, in the directions, they do show some black, and it did not give black ink, so I used the Tranquil Tide to do the Hello Friend right there. It shows it in the directions in black, but I like to use what I have. So you bring in one of these little, um, this is like a, a cutaway, you know, it, it's perforated, and I'm going to open my Tranquil Tide. And I put my Hello Friend at the top of the block right here because I know that that is straight. Just tap, tap in the Tranquil Tide and come over top of this. Perfect. Okay. So that's all that we use the ink for this card. Now next, we're going to move that out of the way. Next, we want to bring in our mountains. Aren't these adorable cut-out shapes? Love it. And we have these um, stickers. So we want to make our um, mountains and valleys, I guess, that uh, the greenery. So you just kind of position these. And again, they're adhesive. So you can position them where you want, just like that. Maybe just like that. And at the same time, you kind of want to measure, which of course I used a scissor to cut the side off that I see, and this is going to look like that. Isn't that adorable in there? So I kind of want to position this a little bit different. I'm going to turn this over, and I wanted more of a hill here. And then this one I want more down, so I turn them the other way. See, you can position them any way you would like. But this is the best that I could, that I liked, you know, out of the set. So the only thing I did was I took my scissors and I just cut these little sides off. No big deal. Once I got them positioned where I wanted it, okay? Then think about where your mountains are. Bring your card base in. That is adorable. That's exactly what we want. Turn this over. And here we're going to apply our glue dots. And I put a lot of these on here. Because they give them to us. <laughs> and I love glue. These glue dots are fantastic. Really get great adhesive with it. So right there, and just pull the backing off. So if you, while I'm doing this, um, I just today, if you have ordered from me in the past year, you are going to get a free holiday catalog from me. So I just put the my mailing um, uh, selector. I just did that today. So you will be getting a free holiday catalog, which I understand is awesome. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, now this is going to go here. And I just kind of like eyeball this where I want it in my circle, which that's perfect. And I'm going to bring it over top of my card, getting my clouds in view. That's adorable. Leaving a quarter of an inch border all the way around. Perfect. And that's how I got that in place. Then here, we just want to pop this back up with dimensionals. Of course, you get your dimensionals. And so you just want to place them all around the card, not to get any bounce in the card. So you want to, you know, use enough of them, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say because then you don't get a bow. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful summer. I absolutely cannot believe that I saw all the school supplies out. Summer just seems to be, it goes quick, and then winter is long. <laughs> but 
got to go through all four of the seasons which is beautiful okay so we'll put that down and now we're going to bring our card base right on top of that isn't that adorable right there just goes right on top guys beautiful then my little hello friend I'm going to put it right here so I'm going to just use a couple of glue dots let's see where to put those right here and we have this card put together just a couple of glue dots on the other side on the edge here perfect adorable here is our first two cards that quick I love these kits back in a minute we'll get another one together let's start this next card and this was so fast and easy just fun this is you we use the smaller um, card on this one and uh, how much fun and then we punched out the heart that came in the kit okay so we'll start let's get our heart in here and we first want to go ahead and put our washi tape so I just rip off a piece because that's what washi tape is all about and I just put a couple of pieces on the heart really I should use washi tape a whole lot more okay then I took my love right here and I already put my glue dots on the back and I I think you can see them but you can roll the glue dots up okay to fit in a space so I think that's fantastic with our glue dots okay First, we want to stamp the word U, and I've got that on my little A block. I love these little blocks. They're so stinking adorably small. Now, I'm going to put this on with um, Tranquil Tide, and I'm going to stamp it. No, I just put it in the soft sky. We want Tranquil Tide. Let me, I just scrub that off right quick. Let me get there in the tranquil tide. There we go. We stamp our U. Then I'm going to change this over to our little heart because we will need our soft sky for that. So then right here, I'm going to take our love and they have it straight I like to put a little angle on it and you just stamp put it right down on there with the glue dots we're gonna bring this in we're gonna bring in our um, already self-adhesive strips and we're gonna pull off this pink one and just put it kind of crossed just like that and then you're going to cross it with the lemon lime twist just like that and then I take my heart our dimensionals put these on the back here so fun and put that right there didn't that just make that card it just makes it just great now we're gonna take our itty bitty heart and put it in the soft sky and you're gonna stamp this three times like almost like a cascade of hearts just like that and that's as simple and easy and we have got four cards guys already done Back in a minute with the next one. Okay, here's our next card. We use a lot of washi tape here. And I know I said that I thought that it was black, but honest to goodness, in the directions, all of this is Tranquil Tide to stamp with. So um, I was wrong. 
So I just wanted to tell you guys that the more that I started looking at everything. So here's our little note card base and it's with our, uh, looks a little watercolor washi. Uh, and this is a uh, lemon lime twist. We get our circle now and we get our washi tape. Now let me show you how to do this. You just start ripping off washi tape, put it at the top of the circle, okay, and let it hang over. And just keep ripping it off and going to the bottom of each piece, leaving a little bit to hang over. Okay. And just continue down the circle until you cover the whole circle. You have plenty, plenty, plenty of washi tape. Just like that. And then right here at the bottom. Okay. Now, you want to take your finger and press all this down to get that nice and flat, okay, on the circle. Go ahead and pick this up. And then take your ends and just work it around the edge of the paper. I haven't really, like I said, worked with a whole lot of washi tape um, before, but this has really made me a fan because it made a nice um, covering over just a circle. So simple. I have a lot of washi tape too that I don't use, so yeah. Okay, then I just kind of finger press this down just to make it flat. And here I don't want to use any dimensionals because I'm going to use this hooray. Now let me just show you, this was the one at the beginning of the video that was broken. I just used a little Tombow, you can't even see it, okay? I have my glue dots already on the back of it for us, just to save some time. And here I'm just going to put some glue dots on the back of this circle. I look forward to my paper pumpkin kit every month. You know, like I tell you guys, I don't have to design anything with this. It's there for me. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it. And I try not to do like anything alternative with it. I try to do the kit, and I do, every month the way that it is. But like last month, I love that watermelon, so I had to make cards with that watermelon. So three months is $55 if you want to sign up with the paper pumpkin, and then you get the kits in the mail. It's just so much fun, as you can see. Now, you can put this on any way you want. You could put it with the pluses going straight. I just want a little angle on it. Okay, and I just adhere that down to my card. I'm going to bring my hooray in and put it just up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to bring It's Your Day in. I've already stamped it. And we'll put just a few glue dots on the back of this. You could also, if you wanted to, pop this up with dimensionals. But I want it flat because I think the hooray is enough. And we're just going to adhere that right off of the end of the Y. Okay. We're going to let that just stay down. Love it. And then we're going to take the Tranquil Tide. And I don't know, what should we call this? A sun, a flower, a sunflower? How about that? <laughs> but it goes in Tranquil Tide, and we're going to stamp it three times. And we are done with this card. Isn't that adorable? Look at all these cards we've made. Now we're up to six. fun paper pumpkin project this month. Back with the last one. Okay, let's get this last one together and I really love these wood elements. Really made the card. So here's our card base and it's in that powder pink. Very, very pretty. Um, first what we want to do is move in this element right here that has the flowers and we want to attach the grass. I've already put my glue dots around and I've put three glue dots on the bottom of this grass right here. The lemon lime twist. <clears throat> and I lined my grass up right here with this lower part of this flower. And I just stuck it down. Perfect. 
Then I brought my element over of my heart and we want to use our washi tape and put our washi tape at the bottom. So we're going to, let's see, do I have that on the right side? This side, good. Where the stitches, where you could see the stitches. So I rip off some washi tape just like we did on the other card and just put this on the bottom. Use your finger and finger press it to get any creases out. Washi tape is very forgiving so you can lift it and put it back down. Turn that around and you've got that done. Bring this element in and then look through your heart and you want to make sure that you don't see the point, okay? Like it, you want to make sure that it just fades out of the heart. And just stick it just down, just like that. It's that simple, guys, honest. Now I'm going to bring in our element here. I've already put three glue dots on the back of our saying, you're the best, and I'm going to put that right here. And again, that is stamped in Tranquil Tide. Now this, oh my gosh, I love these little wood elements. So you want to put them on top of three of the flowers. Pick any three that you want. I'm going to do exactly as the directions show me. And do the two on this end. And then the one over here. Just like that. Flip this over. You want to pop this up with dimensionals. This card is that quick, guys. Just this quick. Remember, if you need any Stampin' Up! supplies, please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button and you can order any and all of your Stampin' Up! supplies. Um, if you have ordered from me in the past year, you will be getting a free holiday catalog when they ship out. Stampin' Up! will ship them for me. Um, and I appreciate your business. If you are a new customer, when the uh, holiday catalogs come out, I will be sending you a free one. Uh, if you order $25 in Stampin' Up! product from me, that's before shipping, handling, and taxes, you will get a free holiday catalog plus two free card kits that I'll show you in just a moment for this month. Okay, so we put our dimensionals on the back. We're going to bring our card base in, leave our quarter or eighth of an inch border all the way around, and adhere that down, and we are done, guys. These are some gorgeous, eight beautiful cards out of Paper Pumpkin. So we have this, You're the Best. We have the Hooray. I really love that Starburst Sun, whatever we want to call it. I can see me using that a lot. Love the wood elements in this kit this month. We have Hello Friend with our mountains. And this is dear to my heart, this card, because I am stamping in the valley. And I live in the Valley Beautiful in Tennessee. That's the nickname for this town. The Valley Beautiful, because we are surrounded by the Appalachian Mountains. Absolutely gorgeous, so I really, really love that card. And then our little one that says Love with the Heart. This was so much fun. All these cards, plus your envelopes, okay, and all of your adhesives and everything. You see how I put this together. You got the two stampin' spots. You got the stamp set. How much fun it is this after, this morning actually to put these cards together with you guys. I love them. Here is the paper pumpkin. Okay. It is $19.95 a month, shipping included, or you can order three months for $55. If you do that, you will qualify for the bonus days right here with a $5 coupon for next month. Stay tuned this weekend. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. I have uh, three new stamp sets and framelits that I want to uh, play with, so you guys will be hopefully watching and tuning into those videos. Here's the two free card kits for this month. If you order $25 in Stampin' Up! product from me, I will send you these two free card kits. Please use the host code so it will prompt me to send you the card kits, okay? Thanks for watching. Enjoy Paper Pumpkin with you guys again this month. Thanks. Happy crafting.